goodness, I feel like it's been forever since I've done a video. So welcome back to Fixing It Up with Sandra. I'm so excited. Um, and in case you are new here and this is the first video you're watching with me, my name is Sandra. Today we are going to do a wreath video. I know they've kind of been on hiatus because I didn't have a whole bunch of spring stuff to make reeds because I've never had to make this many reeds before for spring. So um, I do apologize for the lull in the wreath videos, but I have a bunch of ribbon. I'm collecting deco mesh. I've got some centerpieces. So we are going to start making reeds. I do want to tell you though, that this is a channel that is going to be a bunch of random stuff. So you might see a wreath video here. So bath bombs, um, other fun stuff, and then wreath. So just stick with me. I promise all of the crafts that I show you are going to be so much fun to make just like a wreath, but I know you guys are really loving this. So let's get started. Okay. So for today's wreath video, remember when I showed you that I had gotten this from three birds nest company. Let me just flip it around on the back so you guys can see this is the company that I got this one and a few other, um, really they're metal right here. So they're metal. And as you can see the one, two, three, four hole placement. Um, I believe this is a 10 inch. You can order different sizes, different shapes and different hole, um, placements. Let me just grab a couple more just to show you in case you have never, you didn't, you haven't seen this before. So I have another 10 inch right here. That's a circle. So here's another one that I have got that I've got. Uh, we will be making that one. So this one is covered in fingerprints. I can see. <laughs> so I have the square one and then I have, I believe this is the 14 inch. I have to double check on that. But um, the Three Birds Nest Company is a great place in case you're looking for signs to put in the center of your reeds, especially if you're looking for like really unique ones. I mean, these are not ones that you're going to find in Walmart or any kind of craft store. So I highly suggest you even just take a look, just take a peek and see what they have. Um, but this is what we're going to be working with today. Um, we're going to probably do some tubing and I'm working with dollar store mesh right here and i've got some really cute ribbons so we're gonna do this one this one and this one so uh here's all of our stuff and let's get started so like i said we're gonna be working with um some really cool ribbon and some multicolored mesh but before we start i know i've got a lot of questions about this because i shared this um wreath frame, the infinity love wreath frame that I got from the dollar store. And I told you all that I was going to do it in like a rainbow color. I finished it. Let me bring her up. Ta -da! Okay. I am super in love, but from far away, it's kind of like what happened here. So for those who have never seen this before, let me kind of just like move out of the frame. It says love right there. And um, I used only mesh that I could find at the Dollar Tree. So that's why I've only got these uh, five colors, the blue, the green, purple, and red, and white. Um, it's supposed to be a rainbow in case you all didn't get it with the clouds underneath. Um, I wish I had yellow in here and maybe orange. Someone sent me a picture of what they did. Oh my God. I love their colors that they did. So if you're watching and you're the one that created this one and sent the picture to me, I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, this was a fun wreath to do. I'll be honest. It took me about two hours because I did the bow method, which we're going to be doing today. So you'll see what I'm talking about. And I did it with a smaller, um, uh, width. So it just took a lot more to make this full, um, actually not too much, but it just was a lot of cutting. I mean, look how many ties I have back here. My goodness. But anyways, super cute. Um, we are definitely going to do one. I'm going to do a tutorial and show you guys how to make, how I did this, but somebody was like, let's do this like a breast cancer awareness. And I was like, yeah, so it's going to be all pink. So I've got to hunt down pink 
it's yeah it's all pink um i had to hunt down pink deco mesh so um i think i'm going to try to find it in the um six inch because that's what the dollar store is it's like 5.5 or six inch so that will be coming up it's probably going to be a little bit delayed probably like by maybe two weeks because i've got to order the pink mesh because when somebody said that like the only thing that i could think of was a rainbow and somebody said that and i was like yes we should all be doing this um and i think breast cancer awareness awareness month is in october so we're going to be way ahead of the schedule, but um, I still want to get it done. I think that would be super awesome. So if you have a bunch of pink mesh, and I think it doesn't matter what kind of pink it is, but um, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing in the next couple of weeks. I got to order it and then I will get to work on it. But in the meantime, let's do our frog. Okay. Now, one more announcement before we get started. I do want to let people know that this is a beginner video. I try not to do a lot of prep. In fact, today I did no prep. Um, if I feel that things are just dragging on, like if I'm like, okay, people get what I'm doing, I will stop the video and edit to where you guys don't have to watch the whole drawn out process. However, this is a beginner video. So there's going to be a lot of um, talking and um, showing and dis um, explaining and all of that. So if you are someone who is more advanced, I don't get offended when people, in fact, I don't even know when you guys skip forward. So um, just go ahead and skip forward. But I just want to put that out there that this is a beginner video um, because I know some people that are, I say some, one, um, people that have watched the video, they're like, you know, you take a little long. And I'm like, exactly. You've got what my, my theme is. I'm taking things very slow because there's a ton of beginners out there. And I know, again, what I was looking for when I was trying to make a wreath, um, I know what I was looking for and I couldn't find it, you know? Um, so I'm trying to create content that is for those people that were just like me. So anyways, I'm going to bring the camera down. I'm going to get you guys started. We're going to load up this wreath frame with some Chanel. I'm going to say pipe cleaners because I don't pronounce it correctly. So pipe cleaners on here. Let's get started. Okay. So today what we're working with is again, a frame from the Dollar Tree. This is their, um, 14 inch frame. Okay, 14 inch frame. And I am working with my three birds nest. Um, I believe this is 10 inch. Yes, this is a 10 inch, um, <clears throat> excuse me. And we're gonna go ahead and add some pipe cleaners to our frame right here. Now, I like to work with long pipe cleaners because I'm going to be adding ribbon and I'm gonna be adding some tubing like this. So I wanna have enough, um, I want to have enough uh, pipe cleaner to uh, secure them all down with. So what I'm doing in my first my first uh, pipe cleaner on the frame, I am taking the bottom. Okay, let me just make sure I get into the frame. Okay, so you see that bottom, the crossbar, like right here, this intersection. I'm taking a pipe cleaner that I fold in half. I'm going to do it crosswise like that and then give it a couple of twists, okay? So now it's secure on there. It's secure on there. It doesn't travel because it's on that crossbar. All right, so I'm just gonna do that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, on every single one. And like I said, I probably won't show you every single pipe cleaner that I put on here um, if I run out of things to say. And I'm gonna kinda go fast, but we're just gonna do this right here. Now, to be honest, there's no rhyme or reason why I'm putting let me just move the camera up. There's no rhyme or reason why I selected this. I was just like, this is just where we're gonna start. So you don't have to have a formula all figured out when you go to make a wreath. Now, if you made a wreath like this before and you're like, hmm, I like the way that turned out, write it down, keep a notebook of how you constructed a wreath. I love that kind of stuff. So write down the notes how you constructed your wreath, where you placed your pipe cleaners, <clears throat> all the notes. So when you go to make another wreath, you have that information handy. Whereas when you're like, oh my God, how did I do that wreath? Um, but, uh, okay, so here we go. We have all of our cross crossbar sections with a pipe cleaner. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six on here. Now, 
We're gonna add some into the center, but we're gonna go one bar up. So see how it's right here? We're gonna go right here. I wanna do, mm, let's do two. Now these will slide across the bar, but that's not gonna be um, a problem because once you start putting the deco mesh on here, it's basically gonna hold itself in place. So you don't have to worry about it um, moving around, okay? Now, I may or may not add one more um, uh, pipe cleaner to this. I'm just kind of like, let's see how this looks because I want this to be a really full wreath. So I have a brand new roll of this. I, this is a 10 inch by 10 yards decorative mesh. It's by Simple Styles. So you might be able to go um, and look for this on their website. However, if you are if you go on to the dollartree.com, they used to make you, when you were ordering from the Dollar Tree, they used to make you order like um, cases at a time. So now with a lot of the crafting stuff, I guess they realize that, you know, people don't need, you know, 56 Mod Podge, you know, containers. So now they've reduced their limits. I think the sum of it is only three, which makes way more sense. And um, you can check with your local Dollar Tree. It'll tell you on that website if you can have items shipped directly to the store for free. So you don't have to pay that shipping and handling, which is probably where like a lot of us, we start ordering stuff and then we get to the shipping and handling and we're like, nope, never mind. Um, you can order this mesh on the dollartree.com um, and have it shipped to your local store. Okay, so now I'm just going around putting two on that top bar and I think I like, I'm trying to picture it in my head when I do the bow, um, how full this might be and if I might need one on the lower bar just to make sure that everything is completely covered. So again, you don't have to worry about these being spaced out correctly because as you see, this is gonna move about. So there's no way you can say, well, how far is that spaced out? Because it's gonna move um, and you cannot and do not get worried about it because like I said, once we get the deco mesh in there, it's gonna hold itself. Um, so, okay. So now we have two at the top and then one at every crossbow. And I say two at the top, it's the second bar over. So we have two, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. So we have a total of 18 um, pipe cleaners in here. I think, 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 we're gonna add one. I want it to be like really full. So we've done this bar, we've done our crossbar. I think we're just gonna do one more on this bar, just one just to give our wreath an extra fullness. Again, it's gonna slide around, so don't worry about where you put it on there, just get it on. Um, <clears throat> and, we'll, and we'll go from there. I woke up with a little bit of a chest cold. Not COVID, chest cold. <laughs> and not even like super bad. As a waitress, I was constantly sick because you know, you're constantly dealing with the public and you're touching all of the personal stuff. You know, people leave napkins, use, you know. And of course you have to wash your hands, but prior to COVID, I don't know how great most of us were, but I'm no longer in the industry, but um, my cat. <laughs> but uh, I can handle this little chest cold right now. So anyway, so excuse me if um, you hear me you know, try to <clears throat> like that. So, all right. So now I've got one on every bottom. Perfect. Okay. Got one left. And now we're going to start cutting our deco mesh. Now I am using green. I'm actually matching the, um, so we have this now. So 18, and then there was 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So now we have 24 pipe cleaners on there. I always forget how many pipe cleaners I have on there, which is 
something I need to get better at, especially when I'm trying to teach you guys. So like I said, 24. And now we're gonna go with our deco mesh. Okay, so like I said, I have one complete one. I have one that's pretty full. And then this one, which is just a hair, probably shorter. Maybe I just even only unwrapped it. <clears throat> I'm not good at math. I don't know how much I'm gonna need. But if you're like a math whiz, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take um, this deco mesh and I'm going to cut it. Let me just get this. I have a rough edge right here because I've used this before. So let me just go ahead and make that flawless. <clears throat> and we are going to cut a piece. We're gonna, well, we're gonna cut 24 pieces in 16 inch sections, okay? So, Let's, let me see. Hold on. I want to see how. Let's do 18. Let's go 18 inches. So we're going to do 18 inches times 24. Okay. I'll be honest with you guys. I need a calculator to do that. So um, you'll know like the length of deco mesh. Like if you're like, I know exactly how many yards I need because this is 10 yards. <clears throat> Man, I really, really admired you know, people that can do that kind of stuff. I'm just like, well, we're just gonna grab some mesh and pray that it all works out. Okay, so again, we're gonna cut 24. I'm not gonna count because I can't, <laughs> I'm multitasking. I'm a multitasking kind of person, but I can't talk and count at the same time. Um, it's like trying to count money when you're trying to have a conversation. You're like, wait, what? So I'm just gonna cut a whole bunch um, and I'm not gonna bore you with every single cut. But um, we're gonna do this right here, cut 18 inches, and we're not gonna add any other color to it. Um, usually I would like layer some um, other color mesh on top of it, but we're just gonna go with this. And like I said, we're gonna cut about 24. I am using a roller cutter that I bought from the dollar store, which I actually like more than my one that I paid probably no more than $10 for. I buy them on Amazon or get them at Walmart. They're the best um, places to buy them. Um, you can get replacement blades and all that other stuff. I've gotten these for a dollar. They do tend to come loose, so just make sure that you, it came loose on me when I was trying to film a video a while back. So just make sure that you tighten it and that you're aware that this could possibly come loose, but Man, are they sharp. I absolutely love them. So uh, I went and bought like four of them and I have them here. I just absolutely love this. And I'm sure you can find replacement blades. So if you are on a budget, no worries. You're still able to grab one of these bad boys. And if you can't find this in your local Dollar Tree, remember, check out dollartree.com because they have a ton of crafting stuff that you no longer have to buy a case for. So this is really getting to the end where it's wanting to curl up really bad. So I'm not gonna waste. This is, I'm just gonna go ahead and toss that. Um, but yeah, go ahead and grab yourself one. This, roll, this mat right here, I got at the thrift store. I think I paid like maybe $2 for it, I think. I'm not sure, I know it was under five for sure. They can be pricey. So I like to find my crafting stuff where I like at the thrift stores where I can, because a lot of this stuff, it doesn't matter if this is used or not, who cares? It's a cutting mat. Um, so if you're looking for one and you're like, I don't want to spend all that money, you know, like on Amazon, cause I think they can run up to like 40 bucks or something, especially for the one that I, like the size that I got here. And this is a quilting, quilting mat. It's a, yeah, it's a quilting mat, but I don't care. I'm like, as long as it protects the table and I can cut on it, that's all that matters. Nugget, get down. My cat is trying to, I have the door open so my little cat can be in here. So, and I have no idea how many pieces I cut but let's go ahead and get started with one second. Nugget, get down. She's trying to chew up my fake flowers. Okay, let's bring her. We're gonna pause this for a second. 
Now, I have in the past taken this piece and then added it last. I think this time around, I want to see what happens if we add this first. I have never done that, um, but I'm like, you know, let's just see what happens. So I have some wire that I bought on clearance. Um, it's, it's 22 gauge, it's 100 feet. And I bought this, I got this at Michael's. Now they were selling this um, in the clearance section because it was in the Christmas um, section, which honestly I can give two cares about. But um, I'm gonna cut some wire because I'm gonna attach this. Like I said, we're gonna go ahead and attach this right now. We're just gonna see how if it makes it easier or more difficult to um, to uh, work with. And let me just show you guys. If, if you are wondering where I've gotten these fabulous scissors, I have linked this in every single description box <laughs> since you guys started asking. Um, it's also on my community page. So if you are, on like on in my channel, like on the very front page where it has a list of the videos and then you see playlist and then it'll say community. That's where you can go to my social media section, I guess I would call it because you can write posts like it's Facebook. And I shared the link for this in there. These are Weiss um, multi-purpose scissors, but I have the direct link in the community post. And of course I will put it in the description box here. Okay, so we're just going to twist that. And this is really thick wire. You can use the wire that you, the floral wire that you get at the Dollar Tree. I've always used that um, and never have had a problem. I simply bought this because it was on clearance. So I'm going to be honest with you, it was on clearance. Um, but I do love the thickness of it. This would make really good, good um, like jewel, jewelry wire. Man, I can't talk. All right. So we're going to, it's kind of hard to twist, but um, I'm getting it on there. So when you order these, like I said, you can put the, the, um, the hole placement anywhere you want. So like if you're like, oh, I just want two placements, you know, you can do the sides, you can just do the tops, whatever. Um, but yeah, three birds nests and I'll put the link in the description box too. All right, there we go. So it's all, <laughs> it's all complete. So let's get it on here. All right, it's gonna be a little, Okay, I'm gonna do it at a crossbar just because that just is just it's just gonna make it more just make it easier for me. Um, all right, so I'm going to. I know I'm doing this without doing a close up, but just give me a moment, I promise, because um, <laughs> I still have to figure out how to get this on here before I can show y'all. Okay, I think. <clears throat> and again, wait, because this is such thick wire. Maybe that floral wire would work better. <laughs> okay, it's on that one toss bar. Let's see. I don't know if this was easier or not to be truthful with you. All right, all right. We're getting somewhere. I think, I think, think, think. And I guess it helps when you have it turned this way so it's not just like flailing about. Okay. Okay, <laughs> I, promise, I promise I'm gonna show you guys here in just a second where I latched this on. And, okay, I'm trying to make this look easy. <laughs> I hope I did. All right, and I will give it the once over. Okay, I will give this the once over once my wreath is complete and I'm 100% positive that this is where it's gonna be sitting and all of that fun stuff. All right, 
Ta -ta. Okay, kind of fold those down. Okay, so where? Oh, it's already so cute. Oh my goodness. Love it. I can just picture it in my head. Okay, so I have attached it to this crossbar right here, right below um, where we have a pipe cleaner. I really hope this works out. <laughs> so anyways, here's what we're gonna do. I call this the bow method. I believe it's called the bow method. If y'all know it by any other name, that's okay. Um, so we're gonna fold. I've done this before, so we're just gonna fold this in half. And I like really teaching the same technique over, well, I'm gonna be doing some different ones. Wait, wait till you see the videos I have planned. Um, so we're gonna do this one. Kind of tuck that edging in and then put your palm on it like this. And then we're gonna scrunch. And try to keep it as straight as possible. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna tuck this edge in like that and bring it together. So it, each bow is gonna look different. So this is what we've got. See, see, see. I like how the color goes. Pick a pipe cleaner, stick it in. Um, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay, we're just gonna stick it right there. <clears throat> Give it a nice couple of twists. I don't worry about which way it lays. Like if it's like laying diagonal, horizontal, at an angle. I don't worry about that. Um, especially until I get like at least a section done and then I might go back through and then like rearrange it. But there we go. Cute. All right. One more time. Okay. Fold that. Put your hands down. Scrunch. Leave that kind of right there. Ba-bam. Okay. And then just keep going um, all the way around the wreath just like this and it's kind of fun when they go in different directions because then it gives fullness like all all the way around so and see how like like i said your pipe cleaners that you have on these bars will slide across totally okay um no worries and just get it scrunched and this kind of a mesh that i'm working with Okay, the best way I can describe it is very plasticky and very stiff, okay? Um, I've worked with some deco mesh, and I, again, I know, you know, any of us wreath makers have felt the different textures, um, even when it comes to like, yeah. even when it comes to it saying deco mesh, I know some of us are like, ooh, that's a little bit stiffer. Um, I actually like working with this because I believe it holds its shape better. And let me say this. I'm just repeating the fold, fold down process, the bow process. Um, I do have to say that um, being dollar store mesh, well, I lie. This is a product that was sold at the Dollar Tree. But like I said, it is simply... Mm, I think I threw it away. <laughs> Sim simple styles. Now I have bought that brand um, off of uh, wreath um, making websites or like all like a craft supply website for wreaths. So this is actually, um, I would say a high quality mesh. Uh, I really enjoy using this one. Okay, let me bring camera down just a hair. Um, I really enjoy working with this one. Um, like I said, it's a stiffer, like more, more, um, plasticky kind of feel, but it definitely holds its shape. And so it's, oh, you know what? Let me make sure that I'm not. Okay. When I want to make sure that I didn't miss anything, I flip it over and see if there are any empty pipe cleaners. Oh, time just flies when you're having a great time. Cause I didn't even realize I finished that section. <laughs> So anyways, um, I think it's a really good brand and I love it. So all right, y'all hold up. 
Okay, I thought I, I thought I put two on a crossbar, but my pipe cleaner had just slid over and it looked like that. I was like, what did I do? Anyways, okay, so, um, so yeah. And I will be doing in, so I'm doing this video, obviously, with the, the frog. I will be doing, oh, I'm so excited, a flower um, tutorial with, I believe, jute and fabric mesh. Oh my goodness, I can't wait. Um, <clears throat> and then after that, I'm going to be doing a pricing video for reads. I get this question all the time. How much do you charge for your reads? How much should I charge for my reads? Um, how do you even begin to calculate the cost? That cat, I swear. Um, how do you calculate the cost and all of that stuff? So I want to, this will strictly be my opinion. It is not something that is like 100% fact and law. So you guys are going to be able to take that information and then, um, you know, make it your own. Um, but I will give you, uh, what I would consider how to price a wreath. Um, that way you not only cover your materials, but you make a profit, you know, and, um, I'm all about like, if you're selling any kind of a product, no matter what it is, do not absolutely do not sell it for what is what you've already what like just the bare minimum that you put into it so like you know if you're like your mesh is five dollars and you know everything like add up all your things and then go okay now it costs me you know ten dollars to make and then i'll sell it for 15 because i made a profit absolutely not Please, if you are doing that, stop now. Hold on to those reads until that video comes out because I'm going to tell you how you can actually, again, my opinion, how we can uh, make a profit. <gasps> oh my goodness. How, oh, how cute is this? Okay, so I do want to show, you know, we came in, this is, we're so lucky that the wreath frame is green. There are different wreath frames. Say this 10 times fast wreath frames that are different colors but this just works so it's green but you can't really the frame isn't super noticeable because we are already working with green so it is kind of thin i'll say it's thin but we're going to be putting bow and or ribbon and um tubing through here so it will um hide more of the wreath frame. Um, so don't worry, like if you're like, well, I can see the, the frame. Don't worry about that because we're gonna, we're gonna um, add some really cute stuff to it. Now, if I had, let me just be frank, I, I hate frogs. <laughs> I absolutely hate frogs. Um, I think they're gross, but this is super cute. But if I had, I was just thinking, oh, it would be really cute if I had like little, like how we did the bees and the butterfly um, on my previous reads. If I had like a cute little frog to uh, to just, you know, and three because not two. Remember, we work in odds. You work in with odd numbers when you do a wreath. That's what somebody told me. Um, but it'd be cute to have a couple of little cute little frogs. Um, but anyways, so yes, if you're looking at your wreath and you're like, oh, it's a little on the thin side. Um, no worries, we're gonna cover it. So we are, goodness, this goes really fast. Um, so what I was saying earlier when I was talking about the infinity wreath, I actually did this method where we're doing the scrunching the bow um, for my infinity wreath. Um, it took a lot longer because again, the mesh was much smaller and it was a different, I mean, we. I think all of us have worked with dollar store mesh at one point or another. Um, it, it's, a, it's a different texture. So I, it took me a lot longer because I had to cut so many pieces. Um, and I say two hours and that was being generous on my part because um, I actually did it while I was at work. So this is going 
way faster. Hallelujah. Um, we will not be using the Bodabra today. We're just going to cut some ribbon and make cute little um, sections all the way around the wreath. I think we're going to do five, five sections with our three ribbons. If you have more ribbons that you want to work with, totally okay. Because you can get real creative um, when it comes to ribbons and bows and all that other stuff. In fact, if I had a um, pink, pink ribbon, I would love, let me see if I, oh, shut up, I do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> if you just turn around, Sandra. Oh, look at that, I got four. <laughs> I just bought a bunch of ribbon. So I don't know all that I have. Uh, I, don't want to be, I don't want to sound snotty, but I just bought a bunch of ribbon and I forgot that I had that pink one. So anyways, excuse me. I just, my, <clears throat> my throat, if I can find my drink. So I want to show you something real fast. I know this isn't wreath related, but if you're watching it this far, look at what I drink. So these buy bubbles. Okay. Now. I love the fizziness and all that other good stuff. I love soda, but I, I think like along with most people really try to watch like the sugar intake and all that because I love sugar, like no joke. I love pastries. I love candies. I love all of that stuff. And so I really try to watch um i try to balance it out if i'm gonna eat a donut i don't want to have it with the soda <laughs> although I, I i do do that so <laughs> um but anyways i um i found these because i hate soda water i absolutely hate soda water sparkling water i don't care what you call it i don't like any of it i've tried it all um <clears throat> i don't like any of it but i came across these by bubbles and you know, you buy the one and you're like, oh, okay. It's actually really good. And I've become slowly addicted to them because it's the soda without the soda. Have y'all ever had a Fresca before? Um, it kind of tastes like a Fresca, but it's got five calories, one gram of sugar, includes zero of added sugars, but it has tea extract. It does have stevia leaf extract. So I want to let you guys know that. Coffee fruit extract, vegetable and fruit juices, blackberry juice. Um, it's really good. Um, I love it. So if y'all are looking for um, a way to maybe um, find a new, like, I don't even want to call it a healthy drink. I'm not even going to go there because I truly don't know if it's healthy or not. But like maybe just a substitute for maybe with less sugar. Try those out. Um, I get them at Safeway. Um, in my town, that's probably, it's the only place that you can find them because remember I live in a small town, so you guys might be able to find them everywhere. I do have to tell you a story while I'm cutting this. <laughs> so I found, I found those Bible. This is the Blackberry one. They, my store just started carrying Safeway, Safeway here just started carrying it. Um, you couldn't find that flavor for a very long time here. And so I saw it on Amazon. They were like doing like this um, ridiculously low price on them. So I was like, oh my God, I have to buy a case. I was like, I love these things. And I want to say they were selling them for about a dollar. Here they charge, Safeway, they have sales all the time. So it's like a dollar 67 for one. Um, but anyways, so I was like, what? This is such a great deal. So I bought the case of soda buy bubbles and clearly the Amazon delivery guy, the mailman, the everybody, nobody cared that this was soda. So I get it. And it is so shaken up. The whole, the whole case, the whole case is completely shaken up. I mean, they must've done a number on this one because it took me about two weeks to get through it all. And every single one of them, even after sitting for two weeks exploded on me. <laughs> so like after the first couple ones, like I, I didn't, you know, get the package and immediately, immediately open one, but 
um, I was like, you know, respectively wait, you know, a few hours, maybe a day, but two weeks later, they're still exploding on you. So like, it just got to the point where I just started opening them in the sink and I knew half of it was going to be wasted, which defeats the purpose of like the sale price because you're not getting an entire can. So I was like, I am never, I don't care. Well, maybe if they're giving it away for free, I would, but I am never ordering soda or my buy bubbles from Amazon or anything like that ever again, because I was like, man, have y'all ever watched Ace Ventura pet detective? Like the very first one where he is, he's, he's there to rescue like a dog or something, but he's posing as like the UPS man. And he's got this package that he just treats horribly. Okay. That's what I think that they did with my buy bubble package. They're like, Oh, it's soda. <laughs> Let's play a joke on her. So, so yeah, anyways, they're delicious. <laughs> so, all right. Oh my gosh. We are just about through and I want to give a big thank you to you guys because y'all are making me a wreath maker. I mean, like I said, I have never made this many wreaths before, unless it was Christmas ever. And I am learning so many different techniques because I'm playing around, like just trying to um, figure out like what you guys would want to learn and all that other stuff. So thank you. And I just want to let you know that I am super excited doing these tutorials for you guys. And so I know if I'm learning different techniques and different styles and different ways to do things, I'm learning right along with you guys. So don't be afraid to take that leap into crafting and wreath making because I am legit learning with you guys. Um, yeah, you, you can do exactly what I'm doing because we're all literally on the same level. Even if today is the first day that you're picking up a, a roll of deco mesh, you ain't that far behind. I'm not even gonna say that you're that far behind because I wanna, it's not a bad thing. I wanna say congratulations. The first step is even just doing that. So congratulations. Um, but, don't worry. Don't think that you can't do any of this because like I said, I'm getting better and better at this bow technique than I ever thought I would because I'm doing this with you guys. So I hope you guys are seeing the improvements with your wreath making and techniques, however you choose to make a wreath. And I really appreciate when you guys share your videos or I'm sorry, your pictures with me because I'm telling you, the people that are sending me pictures, I'm like, wow, that's, I mean, it's so incredible. And you know, when I hear them say, you know, like, oh, I really don't think it's that great. And I'm like, uh, you need to see it through my eyes because I think it's incredible. All right. So I think, tink, tink, tinks, we got it complete. <laughs> I'm going to shake something really funny too. Hold on. Let me just flip it over. Like I said, I flip it over, make sure that I, that every pipe cleaner and has the thing. Oh, I missed one. I know I missed one. All right. Did I miss one? Did I not? Did I miss one? Did I not? Okay. My eyes deceived me. I did not miss one. But remember when I said, let's add the centerpiece first? <laughs> Where did it go? There it is. There it is. Okay. So maybe, maybe you should add the centerpiece after you do it. Because this is what will happen. All right. <laughs> We're going to start twisting and whatnot kind of tucking it behind maybe. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, let's twist. So I th what happened was, is that a lot of my pieces are going, you know, this way up and down. So we're gonna do it side to side now. Kind of open this up. <laughs> oh well, you live and you learn, nothing's permanent. This is a great way to show you 
how things can work. <laughs> All right, so I'm just trying to twist my little um, bows to kind of, you know, bring the, uh, see, there we go. We're starting, starting to get somewhere. See? You can see. <laughs> All right. And you can tuck behind, too, if you're like, uh. so I'm going to tuck a little bit of it behind. See, I'm going to tuck it through. Because I don't want to twist all of it. I still kind of wanted it to go. Um, but now you know what happens when you put your frame on before you put your deco mesh on. All right. We're getting there. And what's really great about this deco mesh is that it's super durable. So now you can see it starting to come through. <laughs> Um, it's pretty durable, so you can like twist and bend and tuck, and you're really not going to do any damage. I mean, if it falls out of one of the pipe cleaners, you know, just put it back in. Ah, there we go. Oh, there he is. Okay. All right, hold on. I'm almost there. It's almost like creating a hairstyle, in my opinion. There we go. <laughs> now you can see, oh my God, how cute, huh? So, and we're still gonna play around with it some more because remember, we're gonna add ribbon and other stuff, but now you can see it. All right, let's cut some ribbon. We're gonna work with four different ribbons. Um, I had three, but I up, I added pink. So these are the four ribbons that I got. I got these three right here. I got these three from the wreath shop. I had to think about that. The wreath shop. Thank you for everyone who also gave me um, uh, other stores to try. Because like I said, I am still new to the craft, like to the, to this world. I usually, one more time for the cheap seats in the back. Um, I usually shop for my ribbons at Michael's and it's always been during the holidays because that's when I would make wreaths. So when it came to this kind of ribbon and whatnot, I was like, I thought for some reason in my mind, I thought Michael's would still have a ton of spring ribbon like this turns out they don't they just have like their most basic basic ribbon so i was like where the heck am i gonna find such cute ribbon other than um oh my gosh where did uh there was a one craft paper mart paper mart and i started googling and researching and reading your comments you guys gave me some great great places to shop at so now i've got cute ribbon um, I am going to, here's how I measure my ribbon when I'm like unsure. So I want to see like how far I go down to where it will be tied. How far do I want this to hang out? So I think that that is a good right there. So I'm going to mark that. Okay. That's where I want my ribbon to go. So this is, and do you all cut this little end piece off? I never do because I always do like the diagonal in the end anyways, but um, I don't. So we're going to go eight. So this is going to be 16 inches. Okay. And like I said, we're going to do five. Let me show you something. Um, okay. I have to make a new one. So don't judge, but I made, <laughs> now that I'm showing it to you guys on camera, I'm like, Oh, good Lord. Okay, so I made this years ago. This is just cardboard and dollar store duct tape. Look at, see? Um, and it's 16 inches, okay? So what I would do, because during the holidays, I made a bunch of um, reeds with ribbon. I made this because I am budget friendly. So I made this to cut my ribbon. You can buy these things. They're a little pricey, and I say a little pricey because I don't want to pay more than a dollar. 
So you can buy these in plastic and they like they're 16. They have all the inches um, that you could possibly need for when it comes to using ribbon and you know, certain things. Um, <clears throat> I made this and my cardboard has a little bent in it. So I need to make a new one, but you can wrap your ribbon. This is a fast way to cut your ribbon. So I'm go I need five of these. So I've got one, two, and remember each length is 16 inches was what I need. And then three, four, five. Okay. So what I'm going to do <clears throat> is just cut right there. And then I cut right here. Ah, there we go. And then cut right here. It's just a really fast way to cut. Bam. Voila, five ribbons. It's just a fast way to cut your ribbon. Um, instead of like measuring out one at a time and especially if you don't have a mat and so you're having to take a ruler each time man this is a fast way to do it make get yourself some cardboard get yourself some duct tape measure out the 16 inches or whatever it is that you um like i have one i have a fancy one for 17 inches um so anyways super easy to make i mean again i know crafting can be expensive so i try to um, just try to improvise where I can. Um, one, two, three, four, and then five. Um, improvise where I can. And this performs, I think, just as well as anything else. So if y'all are looking for an easier way to cut ribbon without having to measure, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm so sorry, each and every single piece, make yourself a handy dandy cardboard thing. So, so we got that one. We're going to do 16 inches for all of our ribbons, okay? So again, just do one, two, three, four, and then five. And I do want to tell you, okay, the reason why I have this as thick as I do is because some of the ribbon that I use during the holidays are in fact that thick. So I didn't want to have like a really tiny skinny little one um, because I wanted it to be able to hold the ribbon properly when I was, you know, wrapping it like, like this. So think about that when you are making a fancy um, ribbon cutter thingy. <laughs> so, um, that you may, you may um, be working with like a wide ribbon. So you're going to want something that will support and hold your ribbon while you're wrapping it like this. Um, so make yourself kind of like a, um, I would go at least three inches because <clears throat> some ribbons are two inches, which are super cute ribbons. Oh, this is getting so twisted. But um, yeah, that's the reason why the length is, or I'm sorry, the width is what it is. All right. Now for someone who doesn't like frogs, I'll tell you what, this ribbon and that centerpiece are super cute look oh look it i love it all right so oh, and it's winking at in some of them okay there we go <clears throat> and there we go okay there we go so we have all of our pieces okay so we have our four we have our four different ribbons cut into fives because again, we're gonna do kind of like a star shape. So we're gonna do, what is it? Top and then the triangle and then the triangle, you know, to the bottom, kind of like with the foot. Oh, I know, Dusty. So what I wanna do is with these, before I put it onto the frame, we're gonna make ducktails. So fold it in half, okay? Now, take your scissors. I got some really sharp ones. I don't like to use these because it kind of, it doesn't have like that super sharpness to it. And so it can kind of like cut the ribbon and not a perfect straight line. So you're gonna fold it in half. This is where I know a lot of people get mixed up. Fold it in half, okay? Here's your edging, here's your edging, and then here's the, the bent half, okay? Take your scissors on the bent centerpiece and then cut outwards towards the edge like this, okay? And then when you open it, ta-da, okay? I don't like to do more than two ribbons at a, um, at a time, especially if they're thicker ribbons, because 
they can move on you and then you'll get like a little bit of a lopsided um, cut, which is fine because you can always recut it, but you know, um, just, just to avoid that. If you want to see the cat, that's meowing. He's the one that I shave. Come here, boop, boop. Come here, sit. <clears throat> he hasn't had his hair cut. Look at old boop boop. <laughs> see, that's why he has a, like the little poop at the end of the tail. He 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 gets shaved. I know. Oh my god, so many people are gonna be like, "Why do you shave your cat?" Okay. Y'all want to know why I shave that cat? Because he is unsanitary. <laughs> Bottom line. Okay, for those who have a sensitive subject or sensitive stomach, cover your ears. This cat refuses to clean himself. So, because of the the nastiness that he will um, be covered with when he refuses to clean himself. Um, <laughs> And that means that he leaves poop hanging off of his butt because he's a very long haired cat. He leaves poop hanging off of his butt. It can, his hair will get matted in sections. He doesn't like to be combed. He loves to be petted, not combed. And he loves to be shaved. Head on over to my Instagram account. You'll, you'll see the, the video where I shave the cat. I don't even have to have him call, like leash down. He just sits and then he's like purring and then and when he's done, we're done. Like I let him choose how long he wants to sit there. So I don't <clears throat> make him sit there for any length of time that he does not want to. So um, he calls the shots, but we've been doing it for years. It's super cute when he has his hair cut, but he does this. Do you see him? Do you see him? He's right there. He's right there. Um, he'll sit there and meow forever. He's like a dog barking in the night. But uh, yeah, so anyways, that is why he gets shaved and his coat builds up a lot of um, dandruff in it. And so there, it's <clears throat> when it gets too long, like again, he's just like, I'm not licking that stuff. It's not happening. I'm not brushing my hair, not happening. So we must do it for him. And it's called a sanitary shave. I used to take him to the groomers to get it done. And then um, I realized that he is just one of those incredibly patient cats. And so I'm like, you know, what? let me just see if I can do it. And sure enough, you know, <laughs> you just put him down and um, I put him like in the bathroom and then he just is like, okay, go for it. So... So yeah. Okay. We're almost done. I promise. I know this is, hopefully that story was entertaining while we're cutting ribbon, but yeah, don't send me any hate comments on why the cat gets shaved. He's going to continue to get shaved no matter what anybody says. It's, it's just going to happen. It's been going on for years. I know we love it. Yeah. He said, don't send the, don't send the me comments. Um, so that's all boop boop. <laughs> and he is a rescue kitty. Yes. And he just wants to be held. And then he holds like one paw up. It's so cute. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that because now he's going to be relentless when it comes to the meowing. So anyways, we are just about done. In fact, I just got some more, right? Just a couple more. And we're going to start loading this wreath up and then we're going to add our tubing and then we're going to be done. So if you are enjoying this video, make sure that you're going to give it a thumbs up when you are done watching. Or <clears throat> if you can see it right now, hit that thumbs up. <laughs> but uh, I'm so excited to see this wreath get completed because it is not Easter wreath. It's just a cute spring wreath. I'm trying to go as fast as I can. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, enjoy the enjoy the cat in the background. Okay. And I'm super excited about showing you guys this flower wreath. 
I do have to practice a little bit because I'm not, I've done one wreath before like that and I thought it came out fabulous. <laughs> but when it comes to teaching you guys, I have to make sure that like I know what I'm doing <laughs> for the most part, for the most part. So, all right, y'all. Bam. We've got cut ribbon. Okay. So now we're going to take our um, frame. Now, this is why I said to leave the pipe cleaners along because um, we're going to add our ribbon directly into the pipe cleaners. So I want to find where my set, my top is. Okay. So right there. And we're going to, I think I'm going to kind of like rotate. So I want to do maybe these two ribbons together in case you, in case you've got the same ribbon, I'm going to do frog and pink together because there's a little bit of pink. What you're going to do is fold it in half right there. Hmm. No, I am so wrong. We're actually going to add one of every single ribbon in here. I don't know why. Yes, that's what we're going to do. Okay. <clears throat> so this is going to be a cute one. So we're going to add one of each one of our ribbons, fold it in half, open it up, and we're going to pinch it right there. Now, once we get it into our pipe cleaner, we're going to be able to readjust and pull our ribbons out so you can see each and every one of them. So I'm going to start with the top because that's going to be my center point. That's where I'm going to, that's where I'm going to go from. So <clears throat> just find a uh, pipe cleaner that you want to place your ribbon into and make sure that you twist down really good. Make sure you get it nice and tight in there because you don't, when you start moving your ribbon around, for this to come loose. So just give it a few extra. Okay, so now let me bring the camera down because I wanna show you exactly what it's gonna look like. So you don't get worried if it doesn't look like what you expected. So you're just gonna have this string like right here with all of that, okay? So now again, this is a very durable wreath. So you're gonna start taking, just take these two and then just pull it out, all right. And then I like to make sure that each ribbon goes in this, you know, the same direction like that. Okay. Then we're going to pull these two out. All right. So see like that. Now you can curl up like that. So it has like a little curl to it. Just lightly drag your finger up and then just curl it over. Do you see that? Okay. Like that. And then like this, and then we're gonna do that to each one of our ribbons. Now when you, this is super cute. I'm so excited about this. Okay, so when we do our next, I'm gonna give that one a little bit more of a curl. I'm still gonna leave this long, just in case I wanna add anything else to it. But like I said, just make sure you've got a good twist on it. So now we're gonna do this four more times. And like I said, this is my center one. Like right there. Oh, so stinking cute. So that's the center one. So now we're just going to grab, and I'm not going to worry about the placement of like how I'm layering it because when you pull it apart, it'll just, you can um, see all the different ribbons. Okay. So now I want to go diagonal. So I'm probably going to go right there because I want to do it <clears throat> like in a star shape. So Again, just pick a random one and really secure it in there. Give it a few, I'm, I'm giving it probably six to seven twists and then start separating again. All right, so, I, and you don't have to do it in the same order that we did the, the other one. Just go ahead and pull it apart. All right, and then we're gonna, hold on. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Perfect, and then just layer it. Oh my gosh, this is coming out so cute. 
And this doesn't have to be the way that it lays. Like, I mean, we can still, once we get it up, because it does definitely look different when you start, when you pick it up and look at it. So if you're like, oh, I thought I liked it like that. The great thing about it is that you can always readjust this. Oh my God. How cute. Of course, <laughs> still got to be able to see this. So again, we're going to repeat one, two, three, and then the frog. Fold in half. Okay, so I'm looking at it. One, two, three. Okay, so now I'm gonna do one towards the bottom, but kind of off to the side. And I'm kind of like moving my ribbon around so it's not like on the same, like, um, in the same spot, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause you know how we did some on the crossbars higher than some lower. I'm kind of just using whichever one that I, whichever pipe cleaner I feel like using. There's no rhyme or reason. And I'm kind of like, you know, going up and down. Okay, so then this one. <clears throat> okay. So cute. I absolutely love ribbon. All right. And don't forget, we're going to add some. Um... <gasps> I'm just so in love. Okay. Um, don't forget, we're going to add some um, fun tubing to this, which will give it another extra element of cuteness. And... If I did have pink, which I, I, I've already dug for the pink. I know I don't have pink. <laughs> so if I had pink tubing, that would be even better. I'm going to be working with just blue and green, um, which is totally fine. But I do desperately wish that I had pink. Um, so I think we're going to stick that one here. I'm trying to think if I have pink flowers. I wish I had pink flowers. I wish I had a craft store here <laughs> in my house that I could just go to and choose from. All right. Let's do this. Let's move it all around. Okay. All right. And the cat just wants to be petted. That's it. That's all he wants to do. He wants to be petted. Now we're going to have that one. Oh my gosh. This is coming out even cuter than I had imagined. And I'm super excited about that. All right. I'm trying to hold my excitement till the very end. Okay. Oh, I cut that kind of funky. So, oh well. And I hope that when you watch these tutorials that I'm showing you, that it doesn't like, I hope you see that I don't, I don't um, worry too much about perfection. Like I want it to look good, but I, I mean, things will happen. Um, it, and I think with our like, with a little kind of, um, I don't even want to call them mistakes, but with our own little personal touches on it, it just makes it even cuter. So I hope you guys aren't stressing too much off of like the way your ribbon is laying. Cause I know I used, that was one of my biggest things. I'm like, it doesn't look like the others, like the other photos and stuff that I would see. Um, I've learned to just have fun with it. That is just, oh my gosh, look at this. I know the thing is starting to like be covered again, but we'll work on that. Just look at that. And this is what's great. I did not glue that metal sign down. So I just might redo it. Might, I might take it off and then put it back on. So anyways, we're not gonna do that yet. We're gonna add tubing because I wanna keep going. And then, and then we'll maybe do something with that sign. 
Okay, so tubing is this cute little stuff right, right here. Um, you can get it at the dollar store. In fact, that's where I've got these two. All right, we're gonna... Perfect. So, we're gonna take these two. Um, just for, like, to let you guys know, I'm gonna probably measure out. Let me see. Because I never really know. I just kind of go by look. But... Okay, so that's probably where I want it. So this is going to be roughly a length of 22 inches. So I'm going to go ahead over there. Cut that about 22 inches and then get the green one. And then I just measure down. Okay, so what I do is you take these two, make a cross, go across like that, lay it across each other. Take the center, because now this is what you got. Bam. Ah, there you go. And then we're gonna take where our ribbon is, and we're gonna put the, oh my God, this is so cute. The mesh right there. Oh my gosh, okay. I cannot wait to show you this. And kind of, Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ah. How cute is that? Okay. Let's let's back it up. Do you see the cuteness in this? Oh my goodness. So now that I know oh my finger's stuck. Now that I know that I'm not gonna add anything else to this pipe or to this pipe cleaner, yes. I'm gonna go ahead and trim it. I'm gonna use my heavy duty um weiss scissors. And then I'm going to fold down the sharp edges of that. Okay. And then we're going to fluff it up and get it all cutesy and whatnot. Okay. So we're going to do it again. I don't measure every single time. I just roughly guesstimate. Um, yep. Okay. So I'm going to go right about here. Ah. Okay. There we go. There we go, cross, bring together. And now we're gonna add it into another one of our pipe cleaners. Okay, give it a few good twists, cut, cut. Now, if you just love, 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 love the, um, the, um, ribbon by itself and you're like, I, why mess with perfection? Um, <laughs> feel free to not add the tubing. Um, you don't, this is not a step that you have to do. I'm just like, let's have fun with this. So let's do this. Super cute. I love when a wreath is gaudy and full of all kinds of trinkets to look at. I'm just, it's like a Christmas tree when there's just so many pretty things to look at. All right, give it a few good twists. Cut this. All right, and then make sure that you're tucking that, those wires. Now we will go back through and cut the rest of the pipe cleaners. I don't wanna bore you with that because it's just simply cutting the pipe cleaners. Um, so I'll spare you that. But in the meantime, we're gonna finish this wreath up. Okay, twist, and there we go. And then I'm gonna show you how incredibly cute this is. And I most likely will pull off the metal, um, the metal uh, centerpiece and then place it back on, on the front. <laughs> and so now we know we don't add our signage to the beginning as in the beginning process. I always wondered why they didn't do it. And now I know why. So, okay, one more and let's do a close up. Okay, cross. And the thing is too, I want you guys to see, right? and I want you guys to understand. This is nothing on here is permanent. We haven't glued a, 
a thing on here, which is super awesome because when you, you know, are unsure of like how things are going to work and you're like, oh, I thought it was going to go this way, but it doesn't work out this way. There's, and it doesn't, no worries. You don't have to stress. Like I'm not, I could care less that that thing is in the back because I know it's not permanent. I can always readjust it. So, um, don't stress yourself out when it doesn't work out the way that you wanted to. You just now know, like, you know, I didn't know why people weren't adding the sign from the very beginning. It just looked like it made more sense. Clearly it doesn't. So anyways, look at how cute this thing is with the um, tubing. And I love the little pops of pink in the green. I love this. So let me go ahead and cut out or cut off the rest of these um, pipe cleaners and then adjust my sign and I'll be right back. <laughs> Guys, I fixed it. I now know why we put it on the last piece because it just lays right on top of that mesh. Um, so what do you think of our super cute, I'm just adjusting my ribbons, um, super cute frog wreath. Oh. So cute. And you know, I say a wreath doesn't, like a picture doesn't do itself justice or a video. I love this wreath. So cute. Welcome to our pond, our pad. Hop on in. I love it. So cute. And if you have embellishments with like, if I had like little tiny glitter green glitter balls, it would be all over this. Um, but so cute. I love it. How adorable. And what's great about this is that it's budget friendly because we use a lot of this stuff from the dollar store. And I want to tell you guys this, when I do my pricing video, we're going to talk about pricing reads when you use dollar store items. Just become, just because it came from the dollar store does not make your wreath less valuable. Um, so we'll get into that in another video. But right now, we are going to enjoy our frog, frog, even though I don't like frogs, wreath. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and made your own. I love it. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining me in this. I feel like my welcome back video. Um, that frog wreath was so much fun. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching the tutorial. Of course, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, let me know that you like this kind of stuff, which I think you guys do based on the comments. Um, make sure that you're subscribed to my channel so you always... Um, now that's if you hit the notification bell, you are always notified when I uh, upload a video because it's been so long, you don't wanna miss this one. But make sure that you're subscribed so I know that this is the kind of stuff that you wanna see. Like you, you're enjoying the channel, you're enjoying what I'm bringing to you. So, um, all right, well, it's time to go, unfortunately. So I will see you guys again in my next video and thank you so much for watching.